this is Kate Lynch of Healthy Happy Yoga. And if you breathe, you belong here. I'd like to work together today on some three-part breaths. This is a simple and foundational practice that we can all benefit from. I would encourage you to start by taking a baseline. Just notice how you're breathing without judgment. Notice if it's deep or shallow without having an expectation, short or long. If you tend to send breath down towards your belly or if you tend to feel the movement in your body as you breathe more in your chest. And really drop any judgment or expectation of this and simply observe what is. Sometimes breathing higher into our chest, even up into our upper lungs, is what's appropriate because we want to release some emotion. Sometimes a more grounding practice of being more in our bellies can be really useful. Right? Sometimes uh, allowing the bottom of our lungs to expand so there's more space for breath into our side bodies can be helpful. But there's no one right way to breathe. And your body knows how it wants to breathe in this moment. So this will be simply an encouraging practice, practice of encouraging towards that three-part breath, which might give us more a sense of agency with our breath so that we can choose how we're using our breath in the moment. I hope that makes sense. So let's try with a hand um, on your belly and a hand maybe at the center of your chest. And you can move these hands around. And they're here as tools to help you be more embodied, more present. So you might try just taking a breath to fill your chest and maybe your ribs expand out to the sides. I feel like you're feeling just under your collarbones and maybe into your upper back. And as you breathe out, let it out and let your ribs and lungs relax. Now try down, down into your belly, like you're blowing up a balloon inside your belly, maybe into your lower back as well. And leave your chest relatively relaxed. Now, if this is unusual or uncomfortable to you, it's okay. Let it out anytime. Try it again, allowing that little bit of a Buddha belly. And then allow your balloon to deflate in your own time. And we'll switch a few times back and forth between chest or upper lungs. Letting that out. And down lower into your waist or belly. And then letting that out. Now let's bring our hands to our side ribs. So you can feel just on your lower ribs, like just above your waist on the sides. You can feel those. Now try to expand those as you breathe in. Feel how much space there is sideways and let that out slowly on your own. And at this point, if you're not used to this, well, first we'll try it again. You may notice yourself yawning. So knowing here in this space, yawning is like a thumbs up, right? It's like a, a really positive thing. It means that you're taking in more oxygen than you need. And it means that you're relaxing a little bit and you're feeling safe enough to yawn. It also might mean that you're tired, but that's okay. Most of us are chronically overtired. And bringing in more breath can invigorate, invigorate us with that um, extra oxygen. It might also just give us a signal right, that we could maybe go to bed that little bit earlier tonight and get some more rest. But if you find yourself yawning, let yourself yawn. It's fine. It's great. All right. Let's try putting all three together. So 
I'm going to set a pace. However, you know your body and your breath rhythm best. So if that pace doesn't work for you, please find your own rhythm. Really encourage you to to empower yourself to find your own rhythm. Now let's start really low, like you're breathing almost down into your pelvis, your lower belly, and your lower back. And then keep it going by expanding into your side ribs. And then finally fill up just to under your collarbones and into your upper back. And as you breathe out, relax your ribs and chest. Relax your ribs and waist. And then finally let your belly come in to get the last bit of breath out. So we'll begin again. Belly, ribs to the side and chest and upper back. And as you breathe out, chest, and ribs, and belly or waist, gently drawing in. And again. Never forcing, finding your own rhythm. Feel like you're building your foundation from low to middle, up. You don't have to do anything with your hands. I'm just demonstrating with my hands what you might be experiencing. Relaxing chest, ribs, softening belly. You're letting the front of your belly come slightly in to get the last bit of breath out at the end. And then just right away, allow passively your belly to start to expand again. And then your ribs out to the sides. And then noticing your chest and upper back expanding. Never forcing. Going through again on your own, releasing, slowly building, creating space within to expand your lungs for this deeper breath. This is a foundational practice of yoga and meditation that you can take with you anywhere. You may notice uh, your thoughts eventually slowing down as you do this. You may notice your feelings taking a back seat to your sense of presence in your body, sense of groundedness. You may have a completely different experience than this, than what I'm describing, and that's also fine. And maybe one or two more rounds, knowing that you can return to your own natural breath anytime. And I'd encourage you to share, either here in the comments, any interesting uh, results or experiences that come up. And if you'd like to delve into other breath practices, mindfulness, or meditation practices, please take a look at other videos and subscribe to this channel, Healthy Happy Yoga. I'd love to stay connected with you. So if you haven't yet, please return to your natural breath. Think of something that you're grateful for, anything. Really feel like you're drinking that in, the feeling of gratitude. And you might feel like you can expand it. From that place of gratitude, make a commitment that aligns with your core values. 
in order to move us all towards the greater good. Thank you.